This is your 2024 quick start step-by-step -step instructional guide for setting up the Chronosen. There have been a few changes since my last how-to setup video, so hopefully this helps you guys out. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and sub, and without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, first step is to open Google, type in Chronos Zen Download. After that, click on this link. Should be one of the first ones that comes up. This is going to take you to this screen. Right there, you're looking at two different options. You can go to the user guide, but you don't need to because you got me, you got your boy. Click on download. Now, if you don't know where it downloads to, check in the corner. That's where mine downloads to. Sometimes it's in the bottom corner too, but here's what you're looking for after that. Click on one of them. This is my second practice run, so I'll click on the first one. And then you'll see this pop up. Go ahead and hit next. That's going to pop up to your desktop. From there, hit install. You're going to see it says Zen Studio. You're trying to get the app on your desktop. You can see the app on the left hand side. All you got to do is hit finish. It's already on your desktop. You'll see a little screen when you double click on the app that looks like this. That's its loading screen. And then it pops up right here. This is Zen Studio. This is where things get a little more tricky. So let's walk through it together. Going to take your Chrono Zen and we're going to make sure we have both cables right out of the box. You got a long cable and you got a short cable. The short cable is 12 inches long. We're going to plug both of these in right now. The short cable goes into the top of the Zen and the long cable goes into the right side of the Zen. Make sure you line these up and match them correctly. Plug them into your PC. You do need two USB ports to do it this way. But you can also do this one at a time if you need to. For this walkthrough, go ahead and use both. The right-sided cable is specific for Zen Studio applications, and the short 12-inch cable is specific for both firmware download as well as plugging into your console or your PC. Once they're plugged in, this is the screen that should pop up within your Zen Studios. Here's the message that you're going to get. You need to use the Update Tool app. Here's how you get there. Go to Tools right there and click on that. After you click on that, you're going to get the drop down menu. That's going to tell you to firmware update. Go ahead and click on firmware update. Now there's a couple of things we have to do from there. Let's go over that now. This is the message that's going to pop up when you hit firmware update. It wants you to go and put the Zen into what's known as bootloader mode. All you have to do is hit the little button on the back of the Zen and hold it for three seconds. You should see Zen bootloader on your Kronos. You may get an option to update this utility. Go ahead and do that now. If that option's not there, then here is what your screen should look like. At this point, you need to hold the little button on the bottom of the Zen again for another three seconds. After you do that within Zen Studios, here's what you're looking at. The option to use the latest firmware. Click on that. After clicking on it, it's going to give you this option. All you have to do is hit continue. After you hit continue, hit begin update and you'll see the latest firmware version. After you begin the update, you're going to hit this screen. It's going to flash you the firmware. Please wait. And then you're good to go. You can hit start over. There's no need to. You can exit out of that. Now, here's what your screen should look like at this point. You've just done the hardest part of the initial setup. Now, let's explore Zen Studios just a little bit. I want you to go to the Programmer tab. We're going to check out the game packs that they have to offer, and I'm going to show you how one of them works. This is the game packs that they currently offer. There's a ton of games in there. All you have to do is click on one of them and drag it down. Let's check out Hogwarts Legacy. Tons of stuff you can do within Hogwarts, such as holding down the trigger to rapidly fire your wand, as opposed to constantly having to press it. You can add a macro bind when you use Protego that you'll automatically counter the attack. Check out this gameplay footage. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
This game is awesome, by the way. So, that's just an example of what this can do to help you out. There's all kinds of game packs, and I can take you through walkthroughs on all of these if you guys prefer that. Let me know which ones you really want to see. Now, if you don't want any of these game packs, or you just want to start over, you click and drag them over to the trash can, and that's how you delete them. The other part of this is when you have the thing that you want, all you have to do is drag it down, put your settings in, and then from there, you hit the save button. And I'm going to show you the save button real quick. It's the home plate looking button right there on the left hand side. Hit that, you'll see saving to device. Please wait. It'll let you know whether or not it's synced up correctly. After it syncs up, and it should, just hit OK. Now we're ready for the final part to this. What we're going to do is we're going to connect our controller. So plug in to the top of the Zen the small cable, the 12 inch cable, and then plug your controller into the bottom. You can use either one. On PC, you should be using the left port. After you plug it in, you'll see that it lights up with whatever game packs you saved. And then you can scroll through to whichever one is your preference. And that's all there is to it, my dudes. So if you guys are interested in learning more, or if you want to see specific game packs or anything like that, let me know in the comment section down below. I do have a partner helping me out with all this nowadays. I've got less time, so I did need help. And it's time for us to expand a few things. If you guys are interested in Call of Duty, if you're interested in the finals, we're getting numbers and spreadsheets for all of that. You guys will be the first to know just for following the channel. Thank you so much. Any questions, any comments, anything like that, let me know in the comment section down below. And let me know what else you want to see. There are some errors that pop up. I can do separate videos for all that. And I can help walk you through all of it. All right, my dudes. Thank you so much for being here. I love all you guys. Happy New Year, and I'll see you in the next one.